Hello students, now we will be solving few more questions. We have solved many questions in the last lecture and hope you are at the you are at the level where you can solve few more questions by yourself ok. So, uh, just try to keep, you know uh, keep a check on yourself whether you are able to do it or not. So, now we will start today's questions. Now, the first one which I want to discuss is difference write the difference between the elements and compound ok. What is the question please try to listen here and be attentive. The question is write the difference between element and compound. Now, see we have discussed a lot about element and we have discussed about the compound also, but when we have to write our difference. So, in which way can it be written? So, what are the elements? Elements are the purest form of the substance that we can say for the compound also it is also purest form of the substance, but elements are made up of only same kind of atoms whereas, compounds are made up of what when one or uh, when two or more than two elements they combine together in a definite proportion we can say that compound is formed. So, uh, we will just have a look about the elements and the compounds. Elements and compounds ok. So, what can be the first thing? See it is the purest form of the substance that means what I can write over there also. So, I am not writing the point which is similar we have to write the different points. So, all the atoms of an element are of same kind ok. All the atoms of an element are of same kind. Here what can I what should I write over here? Compound contains more than one type of atoms. It contains more than one type of atoms ok. Now, what is this here I will write it is the purest form of the nature it is the purest form of the element in the nature and what we can write over here compound is formed. How it is formed? Obviously, when elements are going to react with each other compounds are going to form. So, when one or more element when more one or more than one check it one or more element or elements combine in a fixed proportion in a fixed proportion compound is formed. What is formed? Compound is formed ok. See atoms uh, they combine and they make molecules we have discussed this molecules they combine and they make what elements and elements they combine and they make compounds. What can we what can we write over here as an example like third point whatever you want to write here Cu, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, helium, lithium 
all these are our elements ok. Now what are the compounds like hydrochloric acid ok, water I am not able to write over here H2 SO4. Now I will write over here to explain you just you can see when I am writing H2O, HCl, H2SO4 you can see over here see how many elements are there we do not have only one kind of element in compound like here when we talk about water the elements are which elements are there hydrogen plus oxygen is there when we talk about hydrochloric acid. So, what is an hydrochloric acid how it is formed it is formed by the combination of hydrogen and chlorine when we talk about sulfuric acid how it is formed hydrogen is there sulfur is there and oxygen is there that means different elements when more than one kind of elements they combine they come close together they form compounds ok. Ok, I can write more difference also like elements cannot be broken into simpler type like if you keep on breaking you will be getting same kind of atoms only, but compounds can be broken up into the simpler substances or the, the constituents ok. So, I can write the, the four difference we can write as elements can't be can't be broken further ok elements can't be broken further that means if you break hydrogen you break copper what will happen the same kind of elements will only be formed you will not be getting anything else than whatever element you are breaking. So, what can I write over here where in the compounds compounds can be broken into their constituents. Okay, like when we break if we see first of all it is not easy to break also, but when it is separated when uh, say sub, uh, by the process of electrolysis ok and different processes when we break water molecule what will happen hydrogen and oxygen will be separated, but if you try to break hydrogen if you try to break copper if you try to break oxygen you would not be able you would not be able to find anything else then hydrogen then copper and then oxygen. So, if you keep on breaking it the same particles will be uh, you, you would not be able to find out anything new in that the constituent is what hydrogen constituent if we are if I ask how hydrogen is made up of hydrogen is made up of hydrogen atoms ok. So, this is the difference between the elements and compounds we have discussed here four differences in elements and compound if you can think for more please you can go ahead ok now I will talk about next question. Now next question is corrosion ok uh, it is not a difference they have like the question is define corrosion ok. The question is define corrosion. Now, what is the meaning of corrosion? It is slow eating away slow eating away of a metal on exposure to air and 
make sure ok now the question is define corrosion so what is corrosion slow eating away that means distraction ok what we can further write or distraction of distraction of any metal ok when the metal starts destroying ok and how it is possible or when it happens when they come in contact with air or water air and moisture so obviously I will write here water itself yes moisture means what H2O ok now air why I am not writing any particular gas because few metals get corrode due to the presence of oxygen because of the reaction of oxygen it can be because of the reaction with carbon dioxide it can be because of the hydrogen sulfide or the sulfur you know sulfur present in the atmosphere they may react with that so it depends upon which which gases they are reacting with so it is better to write air so what do you mean by distraction uh, corrosion corrosion is slow eating away of a metal on exposure to air and mixture or rather we can define it as distraction of any metal when it comes in contact with air and moisture ok and it is please remember over here one very important thing because I have written here and I have not used O or ok it makes lot of difference children if I write or over here that means these metals can corrode only with a mixture of uh, when they react with air or even if they only react with the uh, water they can undergo corrosion but it is not the thing for corrosion like air and moisture oh my god I have written mixture over here so it is not mixture children I am reading moisture and I'm, I am writing mixture over here so it is what air and moisture ok so it is what it is the let me write over here moisture ok so corrosion is distraction of metal when the metal comes in contact with air or moisture ok now corrosion how corrosion can be uh, prevented or which metals undergo uh, corrosion try to recall we are going to solve that in next question ok now come and take the next one uh, next question is ok the next question is write five uses of non metals ok see when we talk about metals ok the uses of metals we all know uses of metals are very very common ok we know the name of the metals and we even know the uses the properties of metal ok so we have discussed this thing many a time so let us discuss about non metals now ok so we are going to discuss about non metals what the uses what is the question write five uses of non metals or write uses of five non metals ok write uses of five non metals so we can take first uses of five non metals ok uses of five non metals to begin with I will write first of all what is there first of all to write with it can be oxygen all time favorite yes so what are the uses of oxygen oxygen everybody knows it is very simple oxygen is used in respiration it is respiration and combustion 
okay now what can be the next one combustion again means what it is the meaning of what it uh, like what it is burning okay now second use what can we write we can write nitrogen what can be the use of nitrogen children nitrogen we have discussed all this thing nitrogen can be used in fertilizers yes next i can take hydrogen rather okay what can i write in hydrogen in the preparation of vanaspati ghees yes or i can write in dehydrogenation okay dehydrogenation of ghee okay and even in the preparation of hcl even it is used in the preparation of what hydrochloric acid now see i have written here oxygen oxygen we all know it is very very important for uh, breathing and it is also important for what burning we cannot burn anything in presence in absence of oxygen now second one i have written here nitrogen nitrogen is very very useful in the making of in the formation of fertilizers yes now after this i have written hydrogen hydrogen is very very important in the uh, preparation of vanaspati ghee okay now what can be the fourth one i can write fourth over here as carbon now carbon is a very useful non metal okay we all know we have discussed a lot about the carbon okay and carbon has many like three forms in which graphite and diamond is rather more useful so if we have to write about the importance of non metals or uses of non metals we can even talk about graphite and diamonds uses so what can i write in the use of graphite i can write it is used as electrodes why it is used as electrodes because it is a good conductor of electricity and also it is used in making the pencil lead okay now when i talk about diamond diamond everybody knows it is useful in the making of jewelry okay and it is also uh, used in some cutters glass cutting i told you if you remember in the removal of cataract okay the it is used in the knife of the doctors so uh let me write j properly it's not so much visible okay now it is visible so it was it is done now okay now uh the next one is okay so next one is oh but i have written only four we have to discuss five where is the fifth one okay fifth one what can i take i can take rather phosphorus yes phosphorus can be taken okay so give me the use of phosphorus how and where phosphorus are used phosphorus are used in making poison okay it is used in making matchsticks okay and even it is used in making fertilizers okay so this is the fifth one now this question is completed write the uses of five non metals okay so we have discussed hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus and carbon uses of non metals okay now come to the next question oh my god where the question is going okay now the next question is let me read out the question okay now what is rusting please try to listen what is rusting okay it has got some part the question has got some part 
वॉट इज रास्टिंग विल सॉल्व वन बाय वन ठीक है वॉट इज रास्टिंग नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रस्टिंग जस्ट नाउ वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द करूजन नाउ विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रस्टिंग सी एक्चुअली वेन आयन गेट्स करोड ओके वेन आयन गेट्स करोड इट इज ओन इज वॉट रस्टिंग ओके सो आई कैन राइट वेन आयन कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ when iron comes in contact with air and moisture okay when it comes in contact with air and moisture it reacts with it reacts with oxygen and water to form rust okay to form rust now what is rust actually it is nothing but just it is what oxide of oxide of what iron okay what is rusting see what is the difference between corrosion and rusting corrosion means we are talking in general about the metals that when metals comes in contact with air uh, or moisture air and moisture so what happens the metal get start getting uh, like it start getting decay like decomposing destroying rather to uh, use okay so what is but what is rusting when iron comes we are talking specifically about iron over here when iron comes in contact with air and moisture it reacts with oxygen and water and then what is formed to form rust okay just one more thing i'm uh, i'm not asking uh, i'm not solving the question but just related to this and we have solved all these things in the chapter rust okay it is it is acidic or basic i'm saying rust is what it is oxide of iron so metal iron is what iron is a metal okay iron is a metal and i'm talking about rust so it is acidic in nature or basic in nature that you will find out this is your homework for yourself only okay because we have discussed this thing that it is if the metals uh, they burn they form oxide and how the metals oxides are whether they are acidic or basic we have done also okay so next part of this question is why is it harmful why rusting of iron is harmful see children rusting of iron is very very harmful as many things are made up of iron like bridges okay many machines even your cycles okay uh, in the buildings for the construction iron is used but if the iron which is used over there in all these things is getting rusted is getting destroyed so just imagine the thing uh, even that is going to become a uh, weak and it will what will happen that particular thing will also destroy it will get deteriorated so why it is harmful because metal starts becoming very weak because metal becomes this is the a part of this now b part because metal becomes very weak okay and if the iron becomes weak then what will happen when we are talking about the bridges and the machines if the iron itself is weak has become weak so obviously this machine and this bridge is also going to become weak and so what it is it is dangerous it is very very harmful yes okay now next one more part is there right three ways to prevent rusting right three ways to prevent rusting see now it is very serious uh, thing like rusting has to be prevented because i told you that many things are made up of iron and if the iron start getting rusted then what will happen that particular thing will also become weak and there will be lot of destruction of money maybe life okay so how can the 
rusting of iron can be prevented okay how rusting can be prevented so prevention from rusting okay prevention from rusting now the first method is we can uh, just look uh, nearby you if you find any iron article how it is have you seen iron any time without uh, you know without being painted no so the first method is painting now what is painting to cover the metal with actually see what is happening iron is getting corroded when it comes in the contact with oxygen and when it comes in contact with water so what has to be done we have to break the we have to break the contact we have to break the contact with what water and oxygen so what can be done how can we break this contact just we will put something which doesn't allow this water and i should use this one which doesn't allow this water and oxygen to come in contact with iron okay so what is painting painting is same only like when what is happened when the iron is painted the contact with okay the contact the contact with oxygen and water can be blocked yes the contact of the contact with oxygen hydrogen can be blocked so what is painting covering the iron with some non corrosive or i can i'll just explain this in short only because we have discussed this thing a lot so just let it be like this only like what happens when the contact of iron is like when the iron is not in contact with oxygen as well as in wa with water so what will happen it won't rust it won't corrode okay so best first very simple way is painting what happens when the when the surface is painted oxygen cannot attack it cannot reach to the surface of the iron because of the what is happening paint is uh, acting as a block okay now the second one we have been talking about is galvanizing okay now what is the meaning of galvanizing galvanizing is a method in which the iron the surface of the iron is covered by zinc zinc is used in galvanizing okay so what is galvanizing covering the covering the surface with zinc okay so what can be the thing it can be the corrosion the rusting can be prevented if galvanizing is done properly again what is happening actually see when a metal which is getting rusted is covered with non corrosive metal okay what is happening iron is covered by a non corrosive a non corrosive substance okay so what is happening when it is uh, when the surface is not coming in contact the simple thing always is what the iron surface should not come in contact with the iron and the water and the what air so again what will happen the uh, the rusting will be stopped okay now the next one can be like let me write c over here okay electroplating
ok. Now, what is the meaning of electroplating again covering one metal ok. Now, what is happening over here one metal is covered one metal is covered by the another metal. by the another metal ok. What is the difference over here we are using zinc over here ok like zinc coating is done on the iron ok. Zinc coating is done on the iron and galvanizing and here electroplating one thing is coated on another say for example, if the spoon ok if the spoon is made up of silver ok silver it can be coated with the gold by what by the process of electrolysis by the by the process of what electrolysis. So, again the iron can be prevented in this way from rusting. ok. So, what is happening over here one metal is covered by the another metal by the process of by the process of electrolysis ok by the process of electrolysis ok. Now, we have discussed three methods to prevent the ok we have discussed three methods to prevent the what rusting. Now, the fourth one or what can be done ok now the fourth one can be alloy ok iron we are talking about specially. So, I will discuss about so first of all what is the meaning of alloy how alloy is being made we have discussed this thing when actually alloy can be what when some metal ok metal or metal or non metal and metal are mixed together ok when metal or metal ok this is one thing or then non metal or metal if it is mixed up then what is formed alloy. Now, why it is mixed up why it is has to be done in this way to change the property to, to change the properties of the of the metal ok. So, what is how alloys are made when metal or metal are mixed or non metal or metal are mixed alloys are formed and to change the property why it is done why this mixture is done to change the property of the metal. Now, see we have got two kinds of when we talk about uh, iron one is stainless steel other is steel. Now, what is the difference between stainless steel and steel ok. So, ok. So, here what is mixed here iron is mixed 
with the carbon and here iron plus chromium plus nickel plus carbon when all these are added together then what will happen stainless steel is made and when iron is added with carbon so what will be made steel will be formed why it is why it has to be done so that the rusting property of iron can be reduced so that the rusting property of iron can be reduced okay now uh, these are the alloys of iron we talk about some different alloys then just give me the example of different alloy see gold if you remember gold uh, it is very very soft okay gold is very so soft so what has to be done to the gold what is added either silver is added or copper is added okay in gold which is very soft it is difficult to make jewelry from the gold if it is so soft then what has to be done along with gold silver and copper has to be added then what will happen this gold will become the softness will be reduced and uh, jewelries can be made very easily again brass and bronze are also very good alloys okay aluminium is a very light metal which is very very good for making aeroplanes but we know that for making aeroplanes the strong body should be there yes the light aluminium is light that is good but along being light it also has to be very very strong okay so again aluminium also is mixed up with the magnesium and that what is formed is used for making aeroplanes okay so these are this was about the alloys and these are the ways how the corrosion can be stopped or how the rusting of iron can be prevented okay now we'll just have a gist of this rusting the corrosion of the iron the when iron get rusted when iron what is rusting when iron reacts with air and water it get rusted and how it can be prevented we were asked to write four ways to prevent that so it can be painting galvanizing electroplating and of course alloys okay what is the difference painting means the paint has to be coated on the surface galvanizing coating of zinc has to be done electroplating one metal's coating has to be done on the another like silver spoon or even sometimes you might have observed the silver jewelries are coated with a gold one that means it is not readily it is not really uh, go of bed up of gold but just only the gold polish is being done okay now the next one is alloy alloy is formed when the metal or metal and non metal and metal get mixed up and alloys are very very useful as it changes the property of the metal okay we have discussed about the alloys also so now we are going to talk about the next question